month. It's in an effort to stem the growing number of skin cancer cases reported here in Hawaii. A media campaign is being launched that targets those most at risk. KITV4's Joe Koromoto reports. The public service announcements that begin airing next week use Keiki to spread the word about sun protection, and for good reason. 50 to 80 percent of a person's lifetime exposure to the ultraviolet light happens as children between, before the age of 18. Current research shows skin cancer is the most common type of cancer, with 5,000 cases reported each year in Hawaii. 200 of them are melanoma, the deadly form of skin cancer. Unlike many cancers, which are actually incident rates are decreasing, skin cancer is increasing, in fact, at an alarming rate. But the message the partners in the campaign that include UH, the State Health Department, and Excel are hoping to impress upon youngsters is that skin cancer is preventable. Daddy, cover up. You don't want to get skin cancer. Covering up with UV protective clothing, hats, and sunglasses, using SPF 15 sunscreen or higher, and staying out of the sun during peak exposure times are all simple ways of preventing skin cancer. But it does have to start early because a lot of people will start protecting themselves later. They can decrease their risk, but they're not completely eliminating the risk that, that they inherited or that they uh, accumulated when they were younger. Timing of the campaign is no coincidence. Summer is around the corner, and the hope is that the grassroots effort will change attitudes and behaviors about sun protection before it's too late. But we really feel that the key component in this is reaching the youth with this message and encouraging them to share the message peer-to-peer, here to parent. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. Now, according to the UH Cancer Center, skin cancer treatments account for about a billion dollars in total U.S. health care costs. Well, a San Francisco mother who gives her...